is it's on, the mess women are backwards and forwards bringing sandwiches up to the prison, what have you, then there's a chance then that the visitors could drop things off to be picked up by them. So we need to be checking the ground, make sure that things aren't being left like empty cigarette packets where drugs can be concealed in those as well. Dad and my cousin, I think, my cousin anyway. Uh, where's our Kelly? Give her a kiss, man. Uh, Come here. Oh. This is my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I took yeah, my auntie in for eight months. What do you want? Just chocolate and crisps and everything. And what you want? Yeah. She's working 185 pound a week. She's going to get you a job. She's going to get us a job? She said she'd get you, you a know job. You know them man. little um, shearers start you with, she makes them. And if you go in on a Sunday, you get double money. 70 quid for a Sunday. She's getting tall, isn't she? 70 quid. Isn't for she a lovely Sunday. now? Yeah. She's settled down now. She's going to get you a job. This is my cousin, what used to get in trouble with us and locked up all but the time. But she learned a lesson by you. Yeah. She taught much now. She's learnt a lesson, see. Mm. So when we last locked up. How about we name weeks? You've been out this month. Mm. If you hadn't got into trouble while you've been here, you could have been out next month in June. Why are you it isn't matter, it isn't worth it. So what's your real estate now? You've got six weeks from year seven, love. Nine weeks I've got left. Oh, yeah. Do you think she's learned her lesson? I think she has learned her lesson, yes. I hope she has. I hope it's been the turning point for her. Um, she came in a young girl, she's going out a woman. So let's just hope things turn out for her. drug fines and we're really pleased with ourselves well you know we find them and that and it's we know we've stopped some of it coming in but the amount of drugs that are coming into the um, into the prison establishment itself is unbelievable and we know we're only stopping a very small part of it yeah. so a bit difficult but we're getting there Tomorrow, Julie is released after 11 months inside. Bye, E-Wing! <laughs> E-Wing, then. Oh, no, I'm not that! Tony Barker has moved off her wing against her will. I'll leave it out, boss. No space on it. What's this for, anyway? 
and Sharon, convicted of arson and robbery, is called to the main office to receive some important news. Now, Sharon, sit down. Um, I've called you up to um, give you the answer from the parole board. We've got previous robberies and burglaries, shopliftings, handling stolen goods, drunken, disorderly, fighting. We've got everything. See a house, and I'd just sneak in and pinch whatever I could, and then just go and get drugs with it. And then I'd go back out again. Every day, I'd end up pinching something. <laughs> Julie was not a model citizen. Neither has she been a model prisoner. Convicted when she was 15 to 18 months, repeated bad behaviour has added six weeks to her sentence. But tomorrow, she's being released. She's leaving behind some good friends, like Tony, the heroin addict from Sheffield, and her best friend, Sharon. Sharon, now in her fifth year of an 11-year sentence for arson, is up for parole herself in a few days and hopeful of an early release. Oh, look at the state of it! Oh. 